hey guy welcome to this session in this session we'll going to learn to use page view controller in our project so this page view controller generally we use to manage uh, multiple pages on the screen if you want to navigate your view controller on the same page then we will going to make use of this page view controller so it makes us easy for us to navigate to the another control just by swiping the screen so we will going to look so for this I have created one demo project here and uh, you can see on my screen that there is a uh, one storyboard so we are going to create a uh, one demo app and in this demo I will going to add three view controllers as a child view controller to the parent controller and by swiping we will going to navigate one by one to all these three controller so firstly this is my main view controller that is the page view controller then we're going to add three more view controller here so add it one by one drag and drop it to the interface builder okay so so we have three view controllers overall four view controllers here so and uh, among this three view control will be our child view controls now we're going to change its background colors so that we can identify it easily okay so so here it is we change the background color for this now we're going to add few swift classes here and then we're going to uh, we're going to assign this swift classes to all these view controller for this controller we need one page view controller swift class and to do that we need to add it from the file then go to new then press it file here uh, so we're going to create one uh, Swift class for page view controls so we need page view controller as a subclass so we'll so here it is you can change if you want to create a UI table view then you can select it from here also so there are several classes available here so now we're going to change it change its name and you can also change the language here if you want to create objective C or then so here it is now we're going to select Swift class then next okay create so the page view controller is available here we're going to delete the unnecessary code okay so here it is so this is our page view control now you can see that that we created one page view controller uh, is which is the subclass of UI page view controllers so so this is how we can add this now we're going to storyboard go to this and then we're going to add that class here so we're going to assign it now we're going to make this uh, as a storyboard ID and this storyboard ID will be used uh, to identify or uh, to identify the view controller from that storyboard it's a unique ID for all the view controllers so we're going to assign the storyboard ID for all the view controllers now we're going to add now we're going to use this view controller and going to rename this as view controller one okay control one now oh, it's one here so this is our view controller one class now we're going to add two more class so 
so to do that click it here and select this then go to new file and if we go here cocoa touch classes and then we need to press then from here we're going to select ui view controller here okay so it's an ui view controller then rename it and then next then create it so here it is now we're going to add one more so in the similar way we're going to add this page view controller 3 okay create okay okay now we're going to uh, okay now we're going to assign this classes to the controllers okay, we'll move to okay then controller 1 then copy this and make it as a storyboard ID and go to other one view controller 2 so copy and then paste it here and move he move it here view controller 3 copy it here and then paste it here so now they will going to identify with their name now we're going so we are done with this uh, uh, assigning part now we'll move to the page view controller and then we're going to add protocols here okay so data source and then UI okay and then so and then we're going to uh, say that this delegate will going to implement it in this class so we're going to assign self to delegate and data source here now we're going to add two protocols for this uh, to do that you need to click here if you don't know that what all protocols are needed to be added here for the for this you can click on this fix button it will going to add automatically for you you don't need to remember all the protocols so so this protocol will going to help us in navigating before and after uh, the view controller the current view controller we will be having so now we're going to add code for this now we're going to create an array for for our view controllers so we're going to add sub view controller okay and this will be of type ui view controller and so and then we're going to assign this okay we're going to make this as a lazy and now we're going to return this and okay okay now now we're going to you make use of cannot run it shape light you okay so okay so here it is now we're going to call storyboard storyboard okay and then okay our storyboard name is main M A N main so here it is and the bundle is nil and then instant in, instantiate with uh, the identifier and uh, now the storyboard id rule comes here 
the storyboard ID that we gave on the storyboard for all the view controllers will going to will going to make use of all this here so so it's an identifier to identify the controllers it so we're going to need controller one as as view controller one okay so in the similar we're going to add remaining view controllers here okay UI U okay so two three two three so this is it now we have uh, references uh, for these three view controllers here so that is presentation that is presentation count okay so presentation count so here it is so we want three pages on the screen so we're going to return its count here so sub view controllers dot count so here it is now we're going to now we want that if the user's current page is the first page then we don't need to move to the before of that current page so to do that we need to write some piece of code going to get the current index current index of the current page okay and and that subview controllers okay then the index okay index index of index index after oh so here it is index of and here we're going to write we're going to pass the our current view controller so this is our current view controller and uh, and, and if we don't have any such then we're going to add it zero okay if current index is less than equals to zero then in that case we're going to return nil here okay and if we are on the second page then in that case we need to return the index for the second controller so we will going to pass the okay so here it is now we passed uh, the view controller here that which controller would be the before of that view controller or the current view controller so we're going to pass it here so cannot call function okay so we didn't use the subscript here okay so here it is the similar way we're going to use here now in this view controller we're going to see that what would be our the our uh, what will be our next view controller so and we're going to manage one thing that if the view controller is the last view controller then the page view controller will not move to the next one or the after then it will not going to return the view controller after that so is for that we're going to take a current index and we're going to get the index of that okay and here we're going to compare it whether the index is greater than okay okay so we'll check that the index is greater than or equals to 
the serveview controllers dot count okay so this is how if it is that then I'm going to return nil here otherwise we're going to okay we're going to add okay so this is how we can do that now if you want to change the style of its transition then to do that we need to call its initializer okay so need to override its initializer in it initializer transition okay now we, we can pass it so we're going to pass the value to our super class super dot init okay and one one thing instead of using this we can make use of we can make use of code her I think Yeah, this one we're going to make use of this one and we're going to copy this and going to paste it here. Okay, now we're going to return the transition style, and the transition style will be a uh, scroll one and its orientation should be the forward dot forward on orientation. Or okay, it's sorry, it's horizontal, so it's horizontal, and then the option will be the null. Okay, already is implied, okay, required. We'll do, we're going to set its view controller, so set view controller. So here it is set view controller here so and this will be our first controller okay and the direction would be the forward direction dot forward okay so forward and we'll animate and we don't need any completion block here then we're going to pass nil here okay now we're going to run and see that how our project is going to look like so we're going to rerun this okay okay the build got failed and why okay okay so we're going to pass it up mm -hmm. Now the now we're going to rerun this code again. Now we're going to rebuild this code and let's check how our demo project will going to look like so it's launching okay so here it is now you can see that this is the our first view controller if you swipe it then we'll move to the another one and this will be the third view controller so in this way you can make uh, use of page view controller so thank you for watching this video.